When I first encountered approval testing, I was in completely the wrong frame of mind. I was thinking about new code, and that is not, in my view, approval testing's real strength. This is partly a naming thing. Approval can be read as some kind of synonym for acceptance. And I think of acceptance testing as a way to specify new features. I made that mistake in my interpretation, I think. What approval tests are great at is confirming that you haven't changed anything, which isn't really what we want when we're changing things by adding new features. In this mode, though, of defending against change, approval tests are fantastic tools. Michael Feathers called approval tests use this way something else. He calls them characterization tests, which are, if I'm honest, I think is probably a better name. The idea of approval tests is that you are starting with some legacy code, which Michael defines as code without tests, and you want to change it. You want to change it safely, of course. That is, you want the code to carry on doing the things that it does now, even though it's not structured in the way that you'd like it to be to help you make the changes that you want to make and to do those safely. So what approval or characterization tests really do is to allow us to refactor more safely. That's it, really. That's all it does. But for that job, it's extremely effective.